Konami. Computer Entertainment, Japan! Does anyone remember this game? Because I got a bone to pick with this game. Hey everyone, Ragnamuna here, welcoming you to my next Let's Play project. I have a huge bone to pick with this game. So much so that I'm gonna not do it by, pretty, by pressing new game. However, I'm not going to cheat. Meaning, I'm not going to use, like, anything from a new game plus, because I've already beaten this game and that's the kind of file I'm gonna be using here today. <clears throat> no, basically, I'm here to show you how you're gonna get through this game, and then show you what you're hopefully, hopefully, gonna be grinding for. So this way, you don't have to sit through two hours of content for me grinding for one exact card, or me go insane off screen, tearing my hair out because I can't get set one card drop. And yes, duplication will be used. So dislike the video now because I am a jerk when it comes to this game. I don't hate this game, no, in fact, I love it. But the only problem I have with this game is it is so... It is so RNG based! So we're gonna jump right into it. Campaign time, everybody. Who's this guy? This is it. I found it at last. The forbidden treasure of the ancient sorcerers. <laughs> Did you like that? I laughed in time with the game's music. Totally unintentional. But yes, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. And I'm showing off the whole damn thing. My dear Prince, are you going to play... Are you going to the city to play cards again? You are of royal blood. Dressed as this... Walking the city streets dressed as a commoner. Have you no shame? Quite frankly, I'm embarrassed. Wait! Stop my Prince! That he's gone! So the first thing you do when you play this game, you make a beeline for the card shop, which is a lie because you never really do any shopping in this game. Hello there! And you hit check and you build your deck. Yes, you can see all these wonderful cards on this on my screen right here. Stuff that we will not be using. Or getting our hands on in the near anytime soon. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the deck that uh, I decided to randomly generate. I don't know if this is like within those kinds of uh, items, but this is what I'm going for. You're gonna have a deck something like this. You're gonna have lots and lots of you're gonna have lots and lots of monsters. Very weak, very bad. Most of them are gonna have between 200 and 500. Uh, between 200 and like six and 700 in terms of their attack power. As you get up there, they're gonna get a little bit stronger until they cap out. I believe the strongest monster you can have has 1,550 attack. But uh, since I never got one of those, I'm just using what I have, dropped or otherwise. But this is pretty much the kind of deck you're gonna have. It's gonna have a lot of crap with it too. Just there's so much that can go wrong at any time in these duels. Oh, also you get one card which is either a Regeki or a Dark Hole. You will not be playing this game unless you start with a Dark Hole. Let me tell you this right now. An equip spell. An, uh, yeah, an equip spell. Uh, you get one of, I'd like to say, seven? Maybe six or seven generated. But uh, this one's pretty good. If you if you uh, if your equip spell is Magical Labyrinth, restart your game because that's only good on one monster, and for whatever reason, it's available as a starting equip, and that's not good. I think you can also get Curse Breaker too. I'm not sure. And lastly, a field spell, one of six, and mine that I decided to choose is Mountain. So yeah, this is our weak ass deck that we have to start with, and we're forced to play with for a good long time. Hello there. So we're going to head over to the Duel Ground. I 
I've been waiting for you, MM. I don't know why I picked MM. I was really bored when I was trying to generate this deck on the playthrough, so... I'm just saying MM. Jonah was here a few minutes ago, but he's gone now. How about a duel? You bet your ass I'm dueling you. Okay, let's play. Hope you're not a sore loser. Oh ho! Them's fighting words, lady. Ooh, this is where it gets good. The actual gameplay. So, for the most part, in this in this uh, early stage of the game, you're gonna want to hopefully have some form of fusion available to you. As such, beast and a plant type, flower wolf. Something like this will usually steamroll your way through a good portion of the early game. A beast and a machine type. Gigatech Wolf. And a lot of these are generic, but a lot of the uh, best fusions of the game can get pretty damn strict. You also have a Guardian Star system as well. I'll explain a little bit about those uh, later. Kind of cool about this game is that it doesn't follow the traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! rules set from back in the day, because this was one of the one of the first that ever came out. I want to say a spellcaster and a zombie is magical ghost. Hey, hey alright! For the most part, you're just going to be slogging through a good couple of opponents, doing some stuff, and then slogging through another good couple of opponents. This game in its entirety, it's not long. If you play through from start to finish, and with like a New Game Plus file that has everything that you'd ever want. It's maybe like an hour, hour and a half long depending on your RNG. Oh, and how I'm fusing these cards together is you can hit the up button to use them in a combination. The zombie warrior. Yeah, having these like 1000 attack monsters and whatnot, they're gonna be fine. You're gonna pretty much blow your way through a lot of these duels, no problem. Don't know how long I'm gonna make these episodes, so... Uh, yeah. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. When you win, you'll get yourself some star chips. You can only get a maximum of five. And you get yourself a card. And everybody's card is randomly generated, too, from a, uh, from a select pool. Ouch, looks like I lost. Oh well. I'll play you again when I get a little better. I'll see you later. You know, that. You know, there's some kind of festival going on in the town plaza. But we'd rather play games right here, like we always do. Wanna take me on? Come on, let's play a game. Oh, uh, he said the magic words. Okay, let's play. He said, nah. He said, come on, let's play a game. Wanna know how you say most of that in Japanese? So, what I told game on the chose. Something like that. I played too much Tag Force Special. Alright. Invigoration here powers up Pyro, Thunder, and Rock Monsters. And I'm telling you right now, you want to play monsters face up on your first turn, if at all possible. Unless it's a really strong monster. Otherwise, the opponent will do something stupid, such as fuse for something a lot stronger. And we don't want that. I want to say this will give me Tiger Axe. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Because this will be Minamushi Warrior. Rockin' a Warrior, Minamushi Warrior. Easy. Let's go ahead and... And as you'll notice, that that's the uh, Guardian Stars taking effect. Guardian Stars follow a couple of different rotations as they're kind of like the uh, Pokemon weakness chain. Let me explain it. Sun beats Moon, Moon beats Venus, Venus beats Mercury, Mercury beats Sun. If you have the right Guardian Star attached to your... If you have the right Guardian Star when you're going into combat, each monster has two, the opponent will only ever select the first one. If you have the right Guardian Star going into combat, then you will get an extra 500 attack and defense when you go to battle. If it's the wrong one, your opponent will get that boot, will get that boost. And it'll be denotated by Guardian Star popping up in yellow for positive, 
and red for negative. The other chain is, and this is gonna, this, I'm going off this to the top of my head, so pardon me a second. The other chain is Mars beats Jupiter, Jupiter beats Saturn, Saturn beats Uranus, not Uranus. Uranus beats Pluto, Pluto beats Neptune, Neptune beats Mars. Got all that? Good. Female in a rock? Gives you a very powerful mystical sand. One of your infinity minus one swords of the game. I love TV tropes. I probably should have attacked somebody else. Yep, I'm gonna be just shy. No, wait, no, I got him. Good. Oh, I have exact. Hooray. That would give me a DP bonus in any other game. But mystic. Uh, fusing for mystical sand, not that hard. Oh, I missed it by a hundred. Damn it. So I am gonna be short. Yeah, but Mystical Sand, really good monster. Oh, if I had a zombie. Let me see, do I have a zombie? Do I have a zombie? Do I have a zombie? No, I don't. I might as well show off what, I'm, what the uh, field spell does. Now, obviously, it adheres to most of the uh, uh, modern day rules, where that certain field spell would power up certain monsters by a couple points. In this case, all field spells and equips, aside from one in the game, will power yourself up by 500. Remember when I said you could get Curse Breaker? <laughs> oh, why'd I have to win that? That could have been Dark Piercing Light. Curse Breaker is a terrible card. Well, in some situations it could be cool if you know if you actually run it, for starters, and know when to use it. Well, uh, let's play again sometime. Hey, did you find yourself any rare cards? I managed to find a pretty good card myself. If you want it, you'll have to beat me. But if you lose, you'll have to give me one of yours. Alright, let's play! That guy is so innocent looking. But, uh... I'm gonna go and hit these new cards. Probably gonna see... Okay, good. Yeah, you're gonna see... Uh, Curse Breaker. I'll just show it off real quick. It cancels all the magic over all level reduced monsters and sets them at level zero. Basically what that does is if your opponent plays a card like Shadow Spell or a Spellbinding Circle, it'll cancel out those effects. All of them. <sighs> I would like to start with this. Because this guy is a bit of a pain if he gets out any fusions. That's why I'm telling you you want to play a monster face up so this way you can avoid them doing AI shenanigans like fusing. Um, here's a very small uh, fusion if you want to, Roding Shark. Basically you need your white dolphin or any kind of uh, low level fish, and then a zombie. Aha, there's, there's our good old buddy Sangin. Hey guys, remember when he wasn't banned? I mean, come on. With the game so slow right now, I doubt that uh, things would... I doubt that him coming back would be a uh, big problem. I'm gonna play Snake Yashi solo because I like Snake Yashi. Let's see, kill him? Yes, we can. I'm expecting him to do something here to get rid of uh, Snake Yashi. No, Yashi Noki. A lot of these also have their Japanese names translated, so there's a card by the name of Thunder Kid, but since it wasn't translated yet, it's called in here Kaminari Kozu, and yep, he has something. Ancient Brain. If only there was somebody in here named Pinky. Okay, I gotta pray to God this works. I think it's Pop the Trick and Satarian of Secrets. Bingo! Ushioni, another great monster. This guy packs so much of a punch. He was so cool to be able to fuse for back in the day. Oh, he got a, he got a small archetype in 5Ds. Because there's a monster named Giant Ushioni. The Dragon Piper. Not a bad card, in all, in all honesty, as it has 1800 defense, so... If you know your opponent isn't really going to be fusing early on in these uh, small stages, you have got you pretty much get yourself a really good wall, and that's a I think that's a pyrotype. I might actually add that to my deck. You won. I guess I owe you a card. And now, the old man. Hmm, you talking to me, boy? I got better things to do. Unless you want to challenge me. Okay, boy, let's play. 
Yep, that's a pyro. I definitely want to replace it. Uh, let's get rid of Change Slime, because I'm really never going to use him. There we are. We got our defensive pot ready to go. Uh, not the greatest starting hand. I'm going to have to do some tossing. Well, I suppose I could do this. Okay, watch him fuse. Okay, he didn't fuse, thank god. Will he defend or attack? Nope, he's defending, alright. Much better. Come on, get him. Damn it! Dragon Piper! <sighs> I just paid the Iron Piper, my friends. Yeah, this guy has. This guy does not mess around. He's pretty hard. Okay, that's Baby Dragon. How am I gonna get rid of him? Oh, uh, you hit the L buttons. You can see what they have on screen. trying to draw into one of my dragons so I can show... Oh, shit, here it comes. This is gonna suck. He's got Mystical Sand. Now I've really gotta be careful. And that thing I know is gonna attack me. Yep. So I got a Rajiki here. Mylas Radiant. Damn it if I'd have saved that thing. I don't want to. I, I have the impulse to just skip ahead in the video. To just skip ahead in the. Uh, just use my emulator speed up stat. Mammoth graveyard. Come on, I need something. Uh. Tch -tch 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 -tch. Fuck it. I need to draw something and fast. I really need to draw something fast. Oh no! Cybersaurus. Machine and dinosaur. A really nice fusion to have early game if you can get it. Unfortunately, I didn't have any Tomasauruses or anything to throw in here. And, uh, alright, this'll work. We got ourselves a beast type and a woman. Thank God. That gives us Neko Gal number two. There we go. Now we got some. Now we got some ground back. We can win this. Because he doesn't have a. He doesn't have a card over. I want to say 1,400 in that deck without fusions. Oh baby, there it is. Are you guys ready for some shenanigans? All right. Here is the most famous fusion in all of Forbidden Memories. You make a dragon that has over 1,600, and then add a thunder monster for the twin-headed thunder dragon. This thing is ridiculous. There are entire speedruns of this game dedicated to just using these uh, fusions for this monster to get through the end game. And it works. I kid you not, it works. There's a guy that, uh, he did a, he did a uh, dupe run. I might as well fuse stone. Minamushi Warrior, because that's green kappa. I want to know if this will give me flame swordsman. I'm gonna try it. Come on! Damn it! Ah, uh, I don't know everything. Uh oh. See when it was red there? That's what I mean. Uh, but anyways, there are uh, guys that did a dupe run in less than two hours. There's a guy that did a personal best run at like just below four four hours and twenty minutes in a single segment. Yes, he had to save. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh. Musa and Fusionist. Wouldn't you believe Fusionist is a fusion monster? <laughs> Corroding Shark. Alright, we're gonna get this guy killed. And we thankfully save ourselves from a bit of hell. We could drag him with the Ursat's head? Alright, early dragon win. We'll take it. I'm adding that to my deck. I reckon I lost. Looks like this just isn't my day. 
We're gonna go outside and then get brutally interrupted by our best friend. Hey, do you know there's a festival going on in the town plaza? Come on, let's check it out. I bet we'll find Juno there. Wow, lots of people around. Look, the Major's about to start their procession. I once read that as procrastination. Awesome! But kind of spooky, too. Look at that full moon in the background there. This was the work of that detestable High Mage Heishin. When I was a kid, it used to be more wholesome. Even the attitude of the Majors has changed for the worse. What's our world coming to? I know, right? Wanna go someplace else? Look, it's Jono! I can't believe it, but he's dueling over there! I... I lost! I can't believe I wasted my efforts on such an insignificant speck. Say what?! Uh, forgive my choice of words. You were mildly entertaining. Hey, Jono! Tiana! And player! What's going on? What do you think? Ain't it obvious? You lost. Don't be so blunt. I didn't lose. I, uh, I had a setback. I grow weary of this insect. Is there not one among you that is worthy of my attention? Mem, the nerve of this guy! Hey, M.M., why don't you challenge him? After all, you're the best duelist I've ever seen. I bet you can beat him. Yeah, do it! Show him who's boss around here! Hello, are you my next victim? Damn right, let's, let's duel, buddy. I hope you're better than the last one. Come, let us do. Master Sato, Master Hashin calls for you. I see. So be it, the duel is postponed. Am I correct in assuming that you frequent the town's duel field? That's right. Then wait there. I shall grace you with a visit. Set it with my name and remember it. Can you believe that guy? A mage with an attitude. Yeah, a real charmer. I got a feeling M.M. will put him in his place, won't you, buddy? Come on, let's look around and then head for the duel field. If we head to the shrine, though... We get this interesting meeting. Where is Seto? Must we be kept waiting? Where can he be at a time like this? Would see Master Heishin's favorite chooses to mock us. Master Heishin doesn't does make much of Seto's capabilities, though he is but a child. I believe we've waited long enough. Let us go. Master Heishin awaits us. Those are the five high mages. We're gonna see about them later. I think though we're gonna end off today's episode. So until then, this is Ragnamune. Thank you guys for watching. You have yourselves a great night, and I'll see you next time. Bye!